Well, I am planting peas today, southern peas. Uh, specifically, I'm doing some top pick purple hull and some zipper cream peas. Uh, I love me some zipper cream peas. So, to uh, prepare the soil, I, this is where I had my corn planted. Still some corn residue. You can see that on the ground over there. And, you know, you have to kind of work around that when you're pushing plows and such through it. But, uh, I went ahead and uh, mowed it down, mowed the corn down and the, the beans and the other stuff down and then came through here with the tiller and got the soil prepared. Uh, it's right next to my wildflower, little wildflower patch I have that's uh, doing a really good job drawing um, pollinators. So what I had to do was disc it up um, and uh, get it ready, get it uh, where I could work it with the hoss wheel hose. Went in there first with the um, wheel hose set on furrow, which is uh, two uh, blades pointing down into a point and it throws the dirt sideways and makes you a nice little gully, little furrow, little uh, trench, if you will. So I did that and the main reason for that was to lay my drip tape in it. Now what I did was reuse uh, drip tape that I had used on the corn and the other stuff. So got the, got the hose out of there, tilled it, uh, so we've cut a furrow and I'm laying drip tape um, into the furrows. It's about probably three inches deep, two or three inches deep. And uh, get that done, reusing, this drip tape is pretty good. It's eight mil from Haas Tools, pretty good stuff. Uh, will last more than one season if you care to roll it up and save it. It's a little bit of a pain to roll up and such, but uh, so I really didn't. I just kind of cast it on the ground <laughs> until I, because I knew I was going to use it pretty quick. And I uh, just came through here and laid it down and um, went ahead and charged it up. In other words, I turned the water on. I've got shutoff valves on each one of these places. So I'm going to fertilize. This is 10 20 10. I bought it at the feed store. Uh, this is just a pre plant uh, I'm going to plant today. So it's really not going to sit there for any length of time. But, uh, Normally I'll do one cup per 10 foot of row if I'm doing corn or any other kind of vegetables, but peas, uh, peas don't need much fertilizer. So I'll probably do two cups or even less uh, for a 40 foot row, just about a half a, uh, half a cup per 10 feet. And after that, I came through and uh, covered the drip tape up with the Haas plow set on uh, healing position. So that's what I'm doing now. And what I did was plant with the, um, it's, I believe it's an earthway uh, garden way or an earthway cedar uh, and I've had it for 25 probably 30 years just a real helpful tool Haas sells a nice cedar too I don't have theirs so I use this one so it does a great job and I just pushed it through there basically pushing it along like you'd push a plow and it drops the uh, the seeds in it it uh, it has a depth gauge on it I set it at one inch the peas need to be about one inch deep and it, uh, it plants good. Now the problem is the peas I used are about four years old, the 2017 peas. So uh, I'm hoping they'll all germinate or I'll have a good germination. Uh, I think I planted some last year and they did a good job, germinated well. This year, well, we'll see. Uh, keep them in the freezer and uh, we just have to see how they, how they go. But I think they'll do good. I'll show you obviously when they start coming up. But I want to let you know, I. I don't know that I've ever planted peas this late, but I think I have. Southern peas do real well in the summertime. They love the heat, but you've got to put the water to it. So if you don't have a water source or if you're having to buy water, it's, uh, you know, it may be a little pricey for you to uh, grow peas this time of year in, in the summertime. But I've got a well, doesn't cost much to run it. And I've got the uh, drip already in place, the main line already in place from the other crop that I just pulled out of here. So. Just kind of a no-brainer to uh, plant some peas. I tried to get the rows far enough apart, about six feet apart, 
five or six that uh, my wife wouldn't gripe because they're all growing together. So when these come up, I'll show you, I, unless, unless the seed is too old, if it is, then I'll be replanting in about a week or so because they should be up in a week. And um, I'm gonna fix and put the water to them. Plus we're gonna get some rain, it's supposed to rain the next three days. We'll see if that happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some water to them now and get them going. Plenty of heat to germinate those dudes. And again, southern peas love heat. So uh, if you can water them, plant them, even in the summertime. So hopefully we're gonna have a nice crop of peas. I got six rows, four of zipper cream and two of uh, top pick purple hull peas. We'll see how it goes and I'll show you when they happen. All right, we're gone.